Hello awesome people, today we're going to check how to install MIUI 8.2.2, a leaked version on the Redmi Note 3. Let's begin. As this is the first video based on the Redmi Note 3, we're going to do a few things like returning to a stock firmware, installing TWRP and finally how to flash 8.2.2. So as you can see on the screen, this particular Redmi Note 3 as of now is running a custom ROM that is Lineage OS 14.1.1. So for any reason, if you want to go back to stock, how do you do that? Now, this requires an unlocked bootloader and at least 50% battery on your phone and make sure you've backed up all your data. So to begin with, uh, Let's go ahead and power off the device. And as the case with most Xiaomi devices, first go ahead and put the phone in fast boot mode. So once the phone is off, press and hold the volume down and power button together till the time you see the fast boot icon on the screen. There you go. That's how you do it. Now, obviously you'll need a Windows computer to flash stock ROM that's a fast boot ROM so as you can see the phone is now in fast boot mode connect the USB cable to your phone and then to your computer in case you're doing this for the first time give it a few moments and make sure you have internet access on your computer so that it installs the fast boot drivers now the link for Xiaomi Mi Flash and the stock ROM is mentioned below so just go ahead and download and install Xiaomi Mi Flash and then uh, what you would have to do is the downloaded firmware or official fast boot ROM will be in a zip format so just go ahead and extract it to your desktop or a location of your choice once the extraction is complete you will have a folder and the code name for this device is Kenzo so open Xiaomi Mi Flash select that particular folder and Hit refresh. As the phone is connected in fast boot mode, it will detect your phone and simply hit flash. Now remember to select the clean all option at the bottom. And the first boot will take roughly five to eight minutes after your flash and please be patient while that happens. So as you can see, the phone is now running MIUI 8.1.1 official. So that's half the work done. What we have to do next is we have to flash 8.2. Now, the 8.2 file which is mentioned in the description is a leaked or, a, you know, a beta firmware. So, it is not possible to flash it on a locked bootloader. So, once again, we'll go to fast boot mode and this time we will flash TWRP for which the link is mentioned in the description. Once again, when the phone is connected to the computer, just uh, make sure you have minimal ADB and fast boot installed. The link for the same is mentioned in the description go to the minimal ADB folder and copy the downloaded TWRP image recovery here and then just go ahead and copy the name of that particular file and open minimal ADB and fast boot there you go now type the command fast boot flash recovery and then the TWRP name dot img or basically the file name and hit enter now again it requires an unlocked bootloader and then once the flashing is complete this time press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the mi logo the moment you see the logo you can let the buttons go or you can release the keys and give it a few seconds and it will boot into twrp So once the phone is in TWRP mode, make sure it is connected to the computer and on the first screen, you will have an option to swipe to allow modifications so that we can, you know, make some changes to your phone software. And then what I would recommend you to do is copy the leaked firmware to the internal memory of your phone. The link for that particular firmware is also mentioned in the description. There you go. So once the copying is complete, if you wish, you can go ahead and disconnect the phone from the computer and you can go back to TWRP because that's where all the flashing will happen. Now, along with this, there is another file that is lazy flasher, which is very important. 
So after flashing this ROM, you need to flash that as well from TWRP. There you go. So after the flashing is complete, uh, you know, you need to flash lazy flasher and then you simply need to hit reboot. If you wish, you can format it or you can do a factory reset before the flash. That's completely your choice. I would recommend you to do that for a smoother and better experience. Now again, the first boot will take about 8 to 10 minutes because this is the update and once the first boot is complete, you will be greeted with the latest MI, MIUI 8.2.1. If you want to know how to unlock the bootloader, the video link is mentioned in the description. If you want to check out all the MIUI 8.2 features, I have done another video on that. The link for the same is also mentioned in the description. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.